Whether it's concert tickets or boarding passes, lots of web pages need to be printed. Using CSS, it's possible to make web pages more printer friendly. E-readers are certainly growing in popularity for offline reading, but many people still prefer to print stuff. In fact, there are lots of things that have to be printed, like auto insurance papers or tickets for events. Some people even like to save websites as PDF documents for offline reading later. So they might go to print something and they might just save it as a PDF, just like that. Now, before we create print style sheets of our own, let's go ahead and look at a few websites to see if we can try and identify some of the qualities that we should try to include in our print style sheets. So this website is 24ways at 24ways.org and it's basically just a really cool design blog. And this is a fairly complex design. There's lots of layers of transparency, texture, and color. So let's go ahead and print this out. And we'll look at a preview here. And we'll get that onto the screen. If we look at this style sheet, you can see that it still looks like 24 ways, but it's kind of a simplified version. Background colors are removed to save ink. And this is the default. You don't have to necessarily disable background colors, but the browser will do so on its own. Now you can override this and re-enable background colors, but it's not recommended. Disabling background colors allows you to focus more on the content. And again, it allows your users to save expensive printer ink. So the overarching theme here is that a printed website shouldn't look like a full color print magazine. If a user really wants that look, they can go ahead and just take a screenshot of the website and then go ahead and print it out. So we'll go ahead and close this and we'll close 24 ways. The next site that we're gonna look at is a list apart. Now this isn't actually the home page for a list apart. This is one of the article pages. And as you can see, this is a very text heavy website. There's not a tremendous number of images. Occasionally there will be images in the article and there's usually an image that just accompanies the article in general. You'll also notice that there are a few sidebars here. There's of course the logo and we have a sidebar over here on the right with some navigation and advertisements. However, if we go ahead and load up the print style sheet, you can see that the design is actually fairly simplified. The sidebars and logo have been removed. Now this is one of my favorite print style sheets. If we go ahead and scroll down here, you can see that the text is very readable. When this is printed out, it actually looks like a really nice PDF book. Now the font here is at about 12 points and that's a really good size for a print style sheet. This isn't a hard and fast rule, but it's a very readable size. Another thing that I would like to see from this particular print style sheet is a serif font. Again, that's not a hard and fast rule, but in my opinion, a serif font is a lot easier to read when printed out. Let's go back up here and you'll notice that a lot of the design motifs from a list apart are maintained. So let's go ahead and switch back to the browser. You'll see that they have these nice dashed borders here and they have a red title here up at the top and these blue links. And of course they have the illustration for each one of the articles and then the text. Now, if we go ahead and switch back to that print style sheet, you'll see that, like I said, a lot of those design motifs are maintained. We have those horizontal rules, the typography and the fonts. Now that's one thing to note when creating a print style sheet. Making a print style sheet doesn't mean that you have to give up design. You can still do lots of nice things with these horizontal rules. You can have all sorts of different fonts and you can lay out the page really however you want with text and images, just like a book. Now that we've looked at a few print style sheets, we're ready to create our own. In the next video, we'll do just that.